There's work to do, just not enough people to do it. A manpower shortage hitting the shrimping industry once again. This is year two. And as Daisy Martinez reports, Valley shrimpers are worried about their upcoming season. Nets, check. Trawling gear, check. Workers, that's where shrimp boat owners at the Brownsville Shrimp Basin are struggling. Alberto Ochoa and his father own 15 shrimp boats. They'll have to go out for the season with reduced crews. Usually, during this season time, you have five to six people on the boat. Right now, it looks like I might have three to four people on the boat, and that's maybe. I mean, it's really hard. Ochoa says smaller crews per boat means more money spent on freezers to store shrimp. It's also harder to dehead shrimp out at sea with reduced manpower, translating to another hit when they go to market. We actually lose money. You lose 30 percent about uh, of the price. They want it ready to go where they can just weigh it, size it, and then ship it out. Texas Shrimp Association Executive Director Andrea Hans says they need approximately 700 visa workers to have full crews. Without any additional seasonal workers, our industry would lose approximately a million dollars a day. She fears if the government doesn't make changes to the H-2B visa workers program, this industry will dwindle down. We support any legislative change to continue bringing well-trained uh, people who know how to go out on these boats and stay there for 30, 45 days. They may come from foreign countries, but they have it in their blood. They were born to fish. Do you think that you're going to get the workers that you need in time for Sunday? I, I, I'm praying to God that we, that we do, but we just have to prepare for the worst. Ochoa says he'll just have to work with what they have to keep the family business afloat. In Brownsville, Daisy Martinez, Channel 5 News. The feds received about 200,000 H-2B visa applications this year. That is nearly three times the yearly cap. H-2B visas allow U.S. employers to hire foreign workers for non-ag or seasonal jobs. 66,000 was this year's cap. Half of those are for October to March jobs. The second half for April to September work.